Leonard Bernstein was convinced that his young audiences could understand just about anything. In this concert, he demonstrates quite effortlessly that there's more to music than major and minor. He also links very old kinds of music, medieval church music, to the most up-to-date music through modes. It's still rather unusual to have a conductor sing a pop song in the middle of a symphony concert, but Bernstein didn't have any problem with that. He knew it would help his audience get the point. People tend to think of orchestra concerts as being serious business, requiring long attention spans and intense concentration. With Bernstein in charge, music and concert going were certainly serious activities, but they weren't solemn. This concert is no exception, whether he's conducting Debussy or his own fancy free. You sense that for him, these pieces aren't sacred things to be worshipped, but living creatures to be loved and understood. Now this one is called Don't Panic. This one is called the Mixolydian Mode. And despite its tongue-twisting name, it's one of the most appealing and popular modes of all. Again, like its neighbor, the Lydian, it's a major mode, as you can hear. And also like the Lydian, it has one peculiar note in it, only this time it's a different peculiar note. See if you can tell which it is. Here is a normal G major scale. Now here is the Mixolydian scale, and uh, perhaps you'd care to clap again when you hear the one odd note. Very fine. It's the seventh tone. The leading tone, which is half a tone lower than the normal, for which you will not clap, right? No. <laughs> this is the normal one, which is higher. This is the abnormal one, right. Now, this is the only major mode that has a lowered seventh tone, or lowered leading tone. And believe it or not, most of the jazz and Afro-Cuban music and rock and roll tunes we hear owe their very existence to this old Mixolydian mode, like this Cuban riff. That's just Mixolydian. Now, do you hear how that lowered seventh note makes that jazz sound? Of course, the examples I could give you are endless, but just to take a recent smash hit. My baby does the hanky-panky. Mixolydian. Could you believe it? Or do you remember a really terrific song, a barbaric number of a few years ago, sung by a group known as the Kinks? It's called You Really Got Me. <laughs> Girl, you really got me going. You got me so I can't sleep at night. Yeah, you really got me now. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you really, da, da, da. that's old Mixolydian. <laughs> or, um, or I wonder if you know that absolutely charming Beatles tune called Norwegian Wood. You hear that lowered seventh? That's what gives it its charm, and that's what makes it Mixolydian. They're all Mixolydian.